It's really moving, isn't it? It is. It's beautiful. Uh, it's beautiful. We're going to discuss this now. We're joined by Camilla Tomini and former royal photographer Arthur Edwards. Good morning to both Good of you. Good morning. Uh, initial thoughts, Camilla? Well, I was just stunned when I saw it yesterday because this is a couple who, let's be honest, are pretty shy and introverted. Mm -hmm. They're not prone to public displays of affection, PDAs. In fact, we were discussing it, weren't we, earlier, Arthur? Like, oh. There's a fe very few photographs of them actually cuddling and That's embracing. Right, yeah. One that was taken in 2011 in Canada, their first tour as a married couple. Another in 2012 in the velodrome because they saw Chris Hoy and they were caught in the moment. But ordinarily, you know, they don't declare undying love. Even they on don't their wedding hold day, hands. They, they, they were sort of weren't... They Sorry, they didn't they... jump in and kiss each well, other. Well, they He says on the balcony because I looked at it yesterday. I had to write a piece about it. He says, "Shall we?" And then they tentatively kiss. But like, they aren't demonstrative people. I think that's no, fair not to be overly. said. Yeah, but I mean, that kiss was everything. I always want to get that kiss. Oh, that they, was the best photo ever. And then they did it again. <laughs> and that was again. page one picture. So I know they did embrace. But also, they do look at each other very affectionately. You yeah, know? they do. And, and I have to say that. And they and they're all. He's always very courteous. And in early days, when she was very nervous. He was so protective of her and he yes. was just amazing. So I uh, But I, this is this is this is showing love on steroids. Mm. And I, I quite liked it. You know, she's trying to convey the message in this video. I've been through cancer. Mm -hmm. It's reminded me of what is important in life, mm -hmm. and that is my husband and my children. Yes. And that slightly gladiator-esque sort of brushing through the fields. Yep. She's saying she's sought a huge amount of sanctuary in being outdoors. She's an outdoorsy girl. Yes. She, I know we're all used to her being in a frock and nude high heels. She's actually happier in her wellies, being out and about with the children. We had some lovely footage in there as well of her with her parents, Carol and Michael Middleton. They're just playing cards together. This is all filmed in Norfolk, in Amna Hall, which is on the Sandringham Estate and is there home from home, okay, where they get away from it all from London. Mm -hmm. And I just thought it painted the picture of you know, this very highly scrutinised, high-profile marriage actually being built on extremely strong foundations. Mm -hmm. The Royals have had this horrific last four years and this was a message of hope. But it yeah. also gave hope. That's the most important thing. Gave mm -hmm. hope to people suffering from cancer, people think they've got cancer and that you can... There's a cure for cancer now, mm. you know, and, and you can do it. I mean, our king, he's suffering as well, but, you know, he looks good. I was up in Scotland at the weekend with him and he looks fabulous. And I think, um, you know, this cancer treatment they've been getting is working and that must give people hope too. And, in fact, I thought she looked fabulous in that film. She does. Uh, uh, it's beautiful. It's, it's so stunning, yeah. artistically beautiful. Oh. Um, but do you feel a little bit like it's such a vast departure from what we're used to seeing from these guys. Mm. I, I love the little bits where they're playing cards and the kit, it's so gorgeous. Oh, yeah. But do you think it's almost a stage too far, too I soon? Think, I think it's brilliant. I think it just shows that they're you know, a happy family they are. Mm. I mean, you know, you, we don't see paparazzi pictures anymore, but I remember last night I did see, they were all out together on their bikes up at Sandringham. Mm. And, uh, and, you know, he's, uh, he's very protective of his family, but, and, and probably, you know, the, King's not very demonstrative, no. is he? With you know like no. that, but you know it's quite reminiscent actually of the royal family videos, the home movies they made mm. back in the day at Balmoral Castle oh. in Scotland and on the Royal Yacht Britannia. But ones so that we'd never that see, one. though. I mean, that was family no, videos. I'm That's talking the... about family videos yeah, yeah, that were totally. then released after the Queen's death. Okay, where we saw them exactly. going down slides and things. It feels but much more point, intimate. I know, but then they were bringing up their children mm. in the 60s and 70s. We've got a couple who are bringing up children in 2024. Yeah. They need to balance the right to those children to have a private life, but also with the public appetite to see them. Mm. This is interesting because Will War, who's the filmmaker they've chosen to make this, and it's very kind of sepia, it's slightly like the opening scenes from Succession, isn't it? <laughs> it's quite sort of uh, rose-tinted. That look, what's important about this, and you mentioned the paparazzi, Arthur, yeah. this is completely in their control. They have yeah. been in control of the messaging, the imagery and the use of their children so that they're not the media's con for the media's consumption. Mm. It's not for the media to choose, as was the case with Diana. This is a parent saying, right, well, we will show you this much because we've been through so much. Yeah, but also they, they share the pictures with us and, and, and Catherine's a very good photographer mm. and, and she gets better and better and some of those pictures, when she's not... Manipulating the picture, but <laughs> yeah. she gets better and better, and uh, and and you know she shares them with us, and I think that's a good deal. You know, we the children are left in peace and they're not pestered. Do you think it might signal a bit of a departure from what we've had in the past, though, Arthur? We will see a little bit more of this, or do you think it's specific for this moment? Post chemotherapy, mm. she wanted to give something, the message to everybody, and then actually it's going to go back to how it was. I think she's used she's the treatment she's had 
and the fact that she's responded to it, she wants to share with us all that everybody, you know, there's, there's hope for us all, you know. And uh, I think I think I read somewhere two thirds of cancers are curable now, and if you catch them in time, you pretty much. Uh, can come come out of it, but uh, also briefly, th they're going to wear the crown, and therefore, we, people have to have confidence in the future of the monarchy. We had a number of moments over the last four years where people have said, "Is the future of the monarchy assured?" Yeah. Well, you see, Victoria and Albert, George the sixth and the Queen Mother, even actually the King and Camilla, who, despite its inauspicious beginnings, has proved to be the great love story. Nice, they're yeah. saying that this, the foundations of this monarchy aren't just built on duty alone, that there's love at the heart of it, a little bit like the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh. So mm. I think that as a message to convey is no well, bad thing. you know, the Duke of Edinburgh used to embrace it, they, but they looked at each other with that great affection. And, and I don't think, you know, because you don't see too much of them in public doing it, it doesn't affect that, you know, they... That, that video was just wonderful. And, and the way they were at the, at the beach at Holcombe, I know that beach quite well, and, and in the sand dunes there and the kids running in the sea, I thought it's it was just... It's reminiscent really, of so many family holidays, right? It's something we done yeah. with our own yeah. kids, you know. And you that. mentioned the cancer diagnosis and actually where she is, Arthur. Let's bring in NHS cancer doctor, Dr Tom Rokes, who joins us now live from Norwich. Uh, good morning to you, Tom. Good Thank morning. you for joining us. Morning. Uh, so, look, let's... I mean, we've been talking about how special the film is and, and the message of hope that's come from it. Uh, from a medical perspective, though, what can we read into where Kate is with her cancer treatment and the chemotherapy so far? So, I think she's finished what she's called pre pre preventative uh, chemotherapy, uh, which means chemotherapy given to try and stop a cancer coming back in the future. So, hopefully, there's, therefore, a good chance that she's been cured. I think the difficult thing that she's uh, expressed so eloquently in her statement of video is the uncertainty that that gives people. It, it challenges your views around life and death and, and, and family. Uh, and she's been marvellous, I think, at actually talking about that so openly and expressing what many patients feel, which is just a, almost a sort of different way of looking at life when you've been through cancer and its treatment. Because she looks so well as well, Tom, in this video. She looks so well. She's still got all her hair. Where do you think she's at at the moment? So many chemotherapy drugs now don't make you lose your hair, actually, and many of the newer cancer treatments don't either. And we know that uh, those newer drugs are better tolerated and we have better ways of managing those side effects. So, again, that's heartening, I think, for patients to put out that message that you can have chemotherapy and still be, be relatively well. I think it's an, an odd time for many people when they finish their treatment. You can focus on those visits for your chemotherapy almost as a sort of structure for your life while that's going on. And now there's that uncertainty going forward. I think what she's going to focus on is getting back to, to normality, getting back to, to work, as she's talked about, and trying to adjust to a new normal. And have you noticed, Tom with regards to your patients, the impact of, of Kate and, indeed, the King talking about the fact that they have yeah. cancer? I think it does make it easier for patients who are going through treatment because, especially the way that she's talked about it, I think resonates with many cancer patients, the uncertainty, the unpredictability, uh, the need to focus on family and to, to shift your perspective on life. I think it's also really important for future patients. Um, we can cure lots of people who have cancer. Even if you can't cure cancer, people can live with it for years or even decades for, for some people. And being able to talk more openly and to kind of get rid of the fear that still surrounds cancer, I think is really important in helping people to come forward with symptoms that might be cancer in the future. Yes, absolutely. Tom, thank you so much for joining us this morning. It's great to get your perspective. Camilla, just, I, just briefly, because we're going to have to let you go in a moment. She's talked about the fact that she wants to get back to mm. doing some public duty. She did a yeah. few things during yes. her, her treatment, hasn't she? When are we sort of going to see her doing So things? I think they're saying in the autumn she wants to come back. There might be a couple of high-profile appearances before then. We think that she is working at home, working from home on some of her projects, not least her early years work, which is the kind of key focus of all of her charitable endeavours. But I think between autumn and Christmas we should be seeing her. I think you're going to see it at the Cenotaph. Yes. Yes. Remember. Remember. Certainly yes. yeah. There. yeah, that's a great day. She doesn't have to look there, just be look good. Sure. Yeah. And she does look good. And she has that really important Christmas carol concert she that's does right. as well, yes. doesn't she? Yeah. So that'll true. be a big Yeah, one so too. I would imagine seeing her quite a few times between autumn and the Christmas. Yeah. I think, I think that's the next one. I think that's what they're planning anyway. That's the cenotaph, which uh, 
It's only like, next month, yeah. It is, yeah, yeah. November. Yeah. Yeah. But it is lovely to see her looking yes. so well. And I think everybody is complete, just even when she appeared at Wimbledon. Yeah. And how behind oh, her the, everybody yeah, was. Oh, yeah, standing ovation. Just we're all there, Back, back in business. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you. Camilla, thank you. Thank Arthur, you. Lovely yeah. to see you. And, and I'm not a former photographer. I'm the still, still He's still doing it. He's 84 and he's going to Australia in November. With a king next month, yeah. Oh, no, next month. Next month, yeah. Sorry, Arthur. Wow. That's all right. I will sort that out. Thank you for visiting our This Morning YouTube channel. We upload new content every day, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out. And we'll see you in the morning.